there fellow collector Shuki here with a review of the Ultraman Rube DX Rube Gyro. So this is, I said gyro really weird. Uh, this is the main transformation device for Ultraman Rosso and Ultraman Blue from Ultraman Rube. Uh, the R and the B, it's, it's Ultraman RB in terms of their stylistic choices. Um, but it's Rube in Japanese, so that's just what I'm going with, I guess. Because Ultraman RB just reminds me of Arby's and then it just makes me hungry. Uh, I mean, Rubu sounds like lube, and that's a completely different story. But, I digress. <laughs> this is the main transformation device for them, as well as the device that the main bad guy uses to summon monsters. So it's one of those kind of like, uh, um, G-Riser things where, like, the bad guy uses it too. So, there we go. There is, uh, the box. It does come with the Taro Crystal and the Ginga Crystal. That activates the Flame Form and the Aqua Form, uh, for our main characters right here so they can swap forms and stuff it is pretty cool there is a neat image on top of the box stuff on the back there's Rosso right there there's aqua right there and all the functions on the back here look there's more crystals to collect look there's monster crystals too because of course there is ultraman is merchandisable now so let's go ahead uh get this open and take a look uh, real quick before it was released in a july 2018 for about 5500 you know so give or take depending on when and where you picked it up uh so without further ado let's take a look all right one thing to make note of don't be an idiot like me and have it like this not realizing that the little diamond was here to signify it was the top and like putting crystals in like this and then trying to figure out why it wouldn't work properly. Yeah, that uh, that is why. So there we go. Here is uh, the Rube Gyro or the RB Gyro. And I, I love the look um, of this thing a lot. Functionality wise, it is not the best, which is a shame after we've gotten so many really great toys with the Orb Ring and the Jeed Riser with so many sounds in it, the functionality of this one is definitely a step down compared to those, and I think that's a shame because this looks so cool. Uh, the, the handles back here, it reminds me a lot of like the Matrix of Leadership from Transformers. Uh, like my darkest hour and all that stuff. Um, but I, I just, I like the look of it. The, the black ring here, the blue, the silver, the red on the handles. Like, it just, oh, it is red and blue on the handles for Rosso. And blue, because that's the respected hands that they hold. I, I dig that. That's a neat touch. I didn't actually realize that. Oh, cool. So, uh, as you can probably tell by the middle here, uh, there is six buttons. Three right here, three right here, and then one right here in the middle, and these will signify whether it is being read as a crystal for rosso or crystal for blue. And that is all done by the crystals right here. So here is uh, the Tiga crystal. Try to get it so that light in the background isn't reflecting. So here is the Tiga crystal. Uh, I like the shape of these. I like the feel um, of these. I definitely, I think the, these are a step up from the Jeed crystal, the Jeed crystals. Uh, the Ultra Capsules from Ultraman Jeed, uh, I just, I, I think they're a little bit more kind of presentable in a way, I guess because they're shaped like a coin. Uh, I Also, that's why I like them, because I like coins a lot, but uh, they're, they're, there's definitely that. I think, I feel like these are more presentable uh, in, in a way. You can ease, more easily tell who's who it is, I think. So... Oh, there's definitely that. So I, I do like these. Again, unfortunately, the playability is not there as much. So on the back here, you have these plastic little sections. This one right here is Ultraman Blue. So when this is uh, ignited up here, obviously the button won't be hit. As you can see, that there's a little peg right there. And that peg will hit the middle portion right here to signify that, yes, it's being put in. So it's a Rosso crystal because this will be down for uh, Rosso's formation. So when that middle one's hit, it's like, okay, yeah, it's a Rosso form. Meanwhile, if these are up, then it knows that it is a blue formation. So that is the kind of simple version of how this all works. And then there are pegs on either side here that will hit the corresponding buttons right here to fit, uh, signify which crystal is inserted. So nothing too complex or anything like that. So here's an example of the Taro Crystal in Blue's formation, while this is the Taro Crystal in Rosso's formation. And every crystal is going to have this, even the monster ones. 
Uh, the main bad guy just inserts them in his gyro, just like this. Which is definitely something that you could still do, and it will read it technically as a blue formation because of that. Or a Rosso formation because of that. But it ultimately doesn't matter with the crystals that uh, uh, don't do a form change. It doesn't particularly matter uh, for those. So, really neat. I, I do dig these. I dig the way that they are presented a lot. And there is Ginga. I love Ginga's design. The first part of his show wasn't that great. But <laughs> I do like his design. So he, uh, he represents water. While Taro represents fire. There is the blue formation, and you can actually have them all up at the same time for some weird tridenty thing. But there is Rosso's formation for Ginga. So there you go. There is our first two crystals. Without further ado, let's go ahead and turn that on. Do that one more time. Do you get the light right in there? Can we zoom out a little? No, we can't. Let's just deal with it. <laughs> Alright, so first up, we're going to do the Rosso formation for Ultraman. T uh, I almost said Tiga. Taro. <laughs> Trying to do this without getting in the way of everything. So you get that standby. You're going to take both sides and pull them out. Push it in. I love the way that looks. It looks really cool. You got all the little speckles in there that act as uh, the LED lights and it just it looks great it's like this wonderful spiral effect and as it slows down it kind of reminds me a little bit of the meteor driver from Kamen Rider Forze on the fact that it kind of looks like a star pattern and I just I love that a lot So there is the attack for that form. And again, I just love the way that it looks. And to take out uh, the crystal, there's a knob on the top and the bottom. Very, very simple. Close that up. Flip these down. Flip that up. Time for blues formation. You'll notice it was blue at the bottom this time. So a lot of that was the same, but you'll notice that it is now red and blue uh, lights. Red to signify the element, and blue to signify Ultraman blue. So that is a nice little touch that uh, the lights are different. And he does have a different attack. Of course, but I like the fact that the lights are different. I think that is a neat little touch. So there is the Taro Crystal. Moving on to the Ginga Crystal. We'll start with blue this time since it is his main form. Lots of blue. <laughs> Got the blue color and the blue light and the blue light. Lots of blue. So 
So pretty neat. Go ahead, and go ahead and see if I can. I was trying this to do this the other day, and I don't know if I'll successfully be able to. I was trying to master just on. Uh, nope, I nope, I failed. <laughs> I was trying to master flicking both those up at the same time. Just didn't quite get it to work. I love the lights so much. They're very pretty. <laughs> So there we go. And uh, just to kind of prove a uh, point, since I didn't do it previously, I'm going to go ahead and do it for uh, Taro. Putting it in without any of the little antenna flipped up. Or that it'll register as Rosso because it's hitting that middle button right there. So there you go. That is all for the functions of the Rube Gyro. Of course, we will be getting a ton more of these crystals as time goes on. As of this recording, two sets have been released already. There's already one for the apparel. Uh, items, I forgot which one I think was Ultra Man, uh, Father of Ultra. Uh, there's a Zofi crystal in a magazine, and then there's a candy toy set and a Gashapon set. So there's <laughs> there's already a ton of crystals, and the show's only been on for a month. So, <laughs> very good show, by the way. Unfortunately, it is not being aired on Crunchyroll this time around. I don't know why exactly, but uh, Tsuburaya has said to please stay tuned for news on overseas viewing. Uh, thankfully, uh, Color Timer Subs has stepped up to the plate to provide us with some pretty good uh, fan subs to check this show out. So uh, if you go over to, I think, Anidex or Nya, I think they're on both, uh, search Ultraman R slash B, and you will find the subs and go watch them and they are great but of course if something does happen in the future please definitely support the official releases uh, from Tsuburaya but uh, that is it for the Rube Gyro very cool I love the way it looks I love the way it functions unfortunately with as you'll see in the next video the functionality with crystals that don't change your type just isn't really there, but we'll, I'll, I'll complain about that uh, in the next video. But as it is, as a standalone toy, I dig this one quite a bit. Just the way it looks, the way the crystals work, I think it looks cool. So that about does it for this review. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, or you think in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye. I'd like to thank Mike, Joey, Joe, John, Josh, VZ17, and all my fans who support me on Patreon.